Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the presenter view in PowerPoint 2013. Now presenter view was an option that was uh, enabled in 2010, uh, but then uh, in 2013 they made a, some enhancements to it where you don't need to connect a projector up to kind of view it. But I think there's also ways that you can probably view or kind of do presenter view in versions prior to 2010. But this is on 2013 and I'll show you how to use presenter view in 2013. So, if you're giving presentations and you are using a projector, let's say we'll go into slideshow view, and you've got a, this is a four slide show, and we've got some, uh, we've got this beginning slide here, and then maybe we have a slide one here with some text here, and this is a lot, a lot of text when you really think about it to put up on a slide to have people read. You want to really engage your audience, and so you probably want to have this, a lot more of this information and notes, and kind of have the bullet points very concise and not as wordy. So presenter view kind of enables that for you by putting the more of the information into the notes. Let's say we also have a slide two here where we, we have a build. This is animation that builds out and we kind of want to cover this, but we also want to know what, what particular bullet item comes up later on so we can kind of speak to it a little bit better. Um, this only has three right now, but let's say they have a lot more and then you can also put slide notes information in the notes section where you can kind of review it a little bit before the next animation comes up. And let's say that, for example, we have slide three, we have a picture, uh, you probably want to use uh, less words here. You want to have more notes in somewhere where you can kind of explain it but have the picture represent the, me the meaning or communicate the thought behind something. So you want to have a lot of that in notes. And in instead of having notes on a piece of paper that you're kind of f shuffling through, we can have the notes as part of the presentation where you can view it but your audience that's looking at the projector doesn't need to view it. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Now I mentioned notes and we want to think about where we put our notes. And in PowerPoint, we put our notes in the notes section. So where is that? We can get to that to, in a couple areas. We can click over here down where it says notes. It's going to bring it up. And we see we have this option to click to add notes. If I go to slide two, I've already got a bunch of notes. Let me go ahead and bring up this pane a little bit. See, we already have notes here. We have notes here. We have notes here in slide four. Now, if I want to click and add notes, I can just click there and type this. It, this is a note, right? So that's one way to get into it is to click on there. You can also just kind of drag, drag, drag it up. So I've dragged it back down to make the note disappear, the note section disappear. I can drag, I can click on it and you can see it turns into a two-sided arrow. I can also drag, right, left mouse click and kind of drag it up to show the notes. Now there's another way you can see the notes and we can go under view and go under view and under the presentation view we can go under the notes pages and we can see our notes here. Now if I go into my other pages here or my other slides you'll see that there are other notes here. So these are where you put the notes. Let me go ahead and get out of that view. Go back to normal view here. And in order to bring up the presentation uh, view here we go under slideshow. So under slideshow there's this monitors group and in the monitors group there is a checkbox that says use presenter view. So in presenter view, if you hover over it kind of gives you a brief description of what it provides. And so if I click on here and go under, click on slideshow, now we're in the presenter view in the slideshow and we're in slideshow mode and you can see now we have a couple different sections. This is the section right here that shows uh, what is going to show. This is the section that is showing on screen. And here on this particular section is the next slide. So it kind of gives you an idea once you finish with this particular section, this is what's coming up next and you can kind of prepare for it. And at the bottom here, on the bottom right here, we see that this is our note. See, this is the note that I just typed in. So we have a couple of options we can kind of go through it. You can either click on the arrow to advance to the next slide here. And you see we still have our same setup here. This is the slide that we see or the audience sees. We have our next slide. And you notice that it seems blank. But what happens is, let me show you when, when we build it out, build that animation out, it's going to show you each animation building out. So we have also the notes for this particular section. So I, can, I don't really need to click on that advance to the next slide. I can use the space bar or I can use the N for the next in terms of the keyboard, using the keyboard instead of clicking on here. And you notice now we are, we're in slide two and the animation here doesn't build out yet. This is what's being seen by our audience. But you can see here the next animation it's showing. Item one is going to show up next. So if I click on uh, advance next slide or just press the space bar on my keyboard, you'll notice that that shows up and also the next animation is going to show up here on this screen. And we have our notes down here. And our notes will also, this might be a little bit small for you to view, so you can have 
the font size a little larger. So if I click on this up arrow font size, it makes it a little bit larger. I click it once again, it makes it really large. And if I click it down, it makes it smaller. So you have the options to change the font size to better represent the text. Also, what you notice here, there is a timer. So this kind of shows you how much time you're spending through the particular slide deck. You can also pause it. I can pause it here and it'll stop. And I can resume the time by clicking again. And if you want to reset the time, you can just go ahead and restart the timer here. So it'll restart for that slide. So you might think that if I want a time for a particular slide, I can go ahead and have these options to restart the timer, pause the timer, or just kind of see how long I'm taking for the particular uh, deck. So there's a couple items here. Let me go ahead and just build out this animation. I'll go ahead and just click on the advance. And you can see the other animation build out. And also if you notice, uh, the, ne the next slide shows what's happening. So this particular slide, if we wanted to kind of do some highlighting, we have some options down here. If we want to kind of focus on things on this slide. Now these options are also available in the regular slideshow view, but I'm just going to show this in the presentation view format. You'll notice that this is available when you kind of um, go into the regular slideshow view. I'll go ahead and show where this uh, uh, shows up when the presentation ends but let me go ahead and just go through each of the different icons here so we have our our pen and laser tool icon so if you want to kind of highlight things or show things if you click on that you have a laser pointer so imagine when you're in a room you're pointing to particular items within the screen and physically you know you're in the room but this option lets you kind of do it on screen so you can have you can just point to things here and point to things there now that's kind of a nice feature what's also another nice feature is the pen so if you want to kind of highlight draw something like just draw an arrow here or you know make it make letters a b c this kind of becomes a little pen for you now if we didn't like that we can erase that and then go ahead and yeah, erase erase that particular item here and that disappears now there's also this highlight uh, highlighter option so if you wanted to highlight a particular item to kind of keep it on screen this shows it for you and it said it just keeps that on there it's like a highlighter when you're trying to highlight a book now if you wanted to get rid of all these uh, particular highlights and pen marks you can just click on erase all ink on slide and then everything will disappear so that's really nice now let me go ahead and advance through to the other to the last slide and I'm going to show these other items here if I go to the last slide this is this picture slide let me go ahead and click next and we have slide three here where we have our picture here and of course we have the end of the slideshow that's the last slide here there's only four slides here but let's say for example this was a longer bunch of slides let's say there's 50 slides in here we have this option where we can see all slides so we're in, we're, the, we're near the end of the slideshow if I click on that and someone said oh you know let's look at slide X and that's something way at the beginning and you want to kind of just go and show that slide you can go ahead and bring up the see all slides command and go ahead and just click on that slide and it'll take you to that slide and you can kind of discuss the slide and maybe you want to go back to the slide uh, near the end where you want to kind of discuss it so you can click on see all slides and let's go back to that particular slide that you're at and then just double click it to go back to the slide so this is very helpful when you have a PowerPoint presentation that spans numerous slides maybe 50 80 100 slides and you don't want to go clicking back and forth individually this gives you the option to kind of give a overall view a bird's eye view of your slide deck and go to the particular slides and go back and forth much easier so that's that particular icon here now there's another icon here where maybe you have a picture or you have a table that's part of this picture and you want to see a portion of it now what you can do is magnify you can zoom into that slide so this gives you the option to go to particular portions of the slide to see it a little bit better let me go ahead and uh, zoom back out let's go ahead and zoom over here and kind of move it over here where it's closer to the calculator so it kind of lets you zoom in on particular slides now this is probably not a good view let me go ahead and go back but it gives you that option to get closer up view unfortunately it doesn't have many zoom options it's only like you can only zoom in and then zoom out but uh, it kind of gives you a view of what this capability can do for you. Now, let's say, for example, we have this last icon here. And let's say, for example, you end on a slide or you're on a slide where you kind of want to talk a bit more, but you don't want people to be distracted by the slide. So you have this option where you can black the slide. So you basically, you've turned it black. You're, you're taking a moment out to discuss whatever's on the slide. And then after that, you want to bring the slide back up to end the discussion. So you can just click on that, and the slide is back up, and you can start your discussion. Of course, there's more options available. If you click on these three dots here, 
you see that there's more options here. It gives a help. You can, you can see that uh, there's a bunch of things. If you like shortcuts, there's a bunch of things that you can learn about with the shortcuts here. And there's other options here where you can uh, look at the rehearse and record shortcuts, uh, media shortcuts, ink and laser shortcuts, uh, touch shortcuts. There's a lot of things that you can do here. I'm not going to cover them in detail, but you can kind of go over and take a look at it. So there's a lot of helpful information in this uh, See More Slideshow Tips. So you can go ahead and click on that. Now, if I wanted to end the slideshow, I can go ahead and just end the slideshow here. And let me go ahead and turn off the slideshow view. Let me go back in the slideshow here and turn off the presenter view and go back in the slideshow view mode. So let me show you those icons that are still there in slideshow view. Let me make sure I turned off the uh, presenter view again. Okay. So I'm going to move my mouse here. Let me go ahead and move my mouse. And then I go down right to the bottom left. You'll see that those icons are there. In addition with the uh, advance and go back type of arrows, we have our pen, we have our see all slides, the magnifying, and the more settings. So those are available without going into presenter, presenter view. But with presenter view, of course, let me go ahead and get out of this. With presenter view, if I go back into the presenter view and go ahead and click on the slideshow, you'll notice that, you know, the beauty of presenter view is that you have your notes, we have this next slide capability, and we have these icons down here that also give us our capability to make marks and see all slides and zoom and black. So there's a lot of extra things that we can do in presenter view that gives us some comfortability, some more ease to give a pre presentation when we're using a projector. So this is an overview of the presenter view, and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.